What's going on everybody, it's Game of Box and Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Dimensions news update. Now in this video I'm actually going to be talking about four brand new screenshots for the game. I've actually had these ones uh, for a few days now basically because uh, from what I've noticed they've been releasing screenshots every single day and I don't think they're releasing any more from what I know but um, yeah basically I probably shouldn't have done that video the other day, the one with I think it had Emmett in it. I shouldn't have done that one because that makes five screenshots and that's more interesting but hey you know four new screenshots and they're all really cool and give us a great look at a lot of cool characters in the game so without further ado let's get to it all right so first off here we can see jay from lego ninjago in what looks to be i think metropolis because if you look to the left i think i mentioned this in the other video as well but you know it's worth mentioning again i guess just for, in case people haven't heard but basically if you look to the left i believe that is actually the globe from uh, the daily planet building because of course you have that big globe on top of it in metropolis and obviously that does get pushed off quite a few times during battles in that city so it would make sense that it's on the ground right now now also uh, on the left you can actually see a mini kit as well which keeps to, to the um, you know to the tradition of actually having mini kits and gold bricks and red bricks and things because this is a Lego game yes it's Toys to Life but I think it's putting its own spin on Toys to Life by reintroducing you know what we love about the Lego games mini kits red bricks and all that now it looks like a mini kit, I could be wrong, but hopefully we will see red bricks and gold bricks as well because that would be cool. And finally another thing to mention, um, well actually two things I've noticed, uh, you can see Two-Face which is pretty cool. I know a lot of people have mentioned that he was in the trailer. Sorry I didn't notice that, but I just I did not see it. Um, but yeah, that's Two-Face. I have no idea if he's going to be playable, you know, if you're going to be able to buy him. But um, he's actually one of my favourite Batman villains, I just don't really see him being that much fun in a Lego game. I mean, I have played with him, you know, in, in Lego Batman 3, Lego Batman 2, and I think he was in the first one as well, but he doesn't really do much, you know, he just has a gun, so maybe they can do something cool with him, but I don't know. And finally, the other thing I just noticed was uh, those electric generators, you know, we've seen that countless times in Lego Batman 3, Lego Marvel, all those games, so it seems we'll have um, characters with electric abilities that can charge stuff, which is pretty cool. Alright, so next up here we can see Cyborg from DC Comics against uh, one of the Lego Ninjago enemies. Now the funny thing is about this, I'll talk about Cyborg in a minute, but if you look carefully to the right, you can of course see a giant mech. Now, I was looking over and I thought, is that Nia's mech? Because uh, of course Nia's from Lego Ninjago and she actually comes with um, a samurai mech, which I imagine you'd be able to use. But it's actually not. I have no idea where that is from, uh, I was looking through all the sets, I couldn't see anything that looked just like it or anything like that, so maybe that was accidentally put in the screenshot and that's like comes with a set we don't know about yet, maybe there's another Ninjago character we don't know about, or maybe it actually belongs to the enemy we see here, maybe they actually have their own uh, toys and things, actually that would be really cool, like you bring in um, a giant mech thing with cyborg and then one of the enemies actually brings in their own uh, mech and then you actually have a big battle that would be insane i mean the possibilities are endless i guess but uh i have no idea where this mech is from but i hope it becomes available to use because just look at it i mean the giant swords it's massive it'd be so much fun to use now then on to cyborg so i believe this is called the cyber guard and it looks like you'll be able to go inside it from uh, you know the big visor thing on the on the mech but i'm not entirely sure i mean what i think would be really cool is if yes you're playing cyborg and you're fighting enemies it fights for you but at any time you should be able to just jump inside it and use it i think that would be really cool because it's kind of like um think of it as a smaller version of the big figure form of cyborg in lego batman 3 beyond gotham because that would be really cool now this is probably one of my favourite screenshots because basically it sums up LEGO Dimensions in one image. You can play as Marty McFly in Bricksburg trying to chase after Batman who has stolen the DeLorean. Yeah, <laughs> you can pretty much do that. I mean, it's awesome. Uh, of course, you could do anything else you want, you know? You could play as uh, Legolas from Lord of the Rings and fly around on Marty McFly's hoverboard down the yellow brick road <laughs> you know the, the possibilities are endless and i can't wait to see what all of you come up with because it's just gonna be a lot of fun now this um these screenshots in particular they've been showing a lot of different you know mission locations like metropolis bricksburg and things but the question is are these missions are these really missions or are they hubs 
open worlds, free roam, you know, that type of thing. Because the thing is, what I'm hearing from LEGO Jurassic World, it just sounds incredible. You know, the open world in it sounds amazing. And they really push it, you know, they're pushing it as far as they can with each game now. LEGO Marvel had a great open world, LEGO Jurassic World sounds really good, you know, all of that. So I'm wondering if LEGO Dimensions is going to add an open world because with all this content both now and hopefully next year since you know this game is going to be supported for years to come you have to think there's somewhere we can play with all this stuff there has to be something because well where else are we going to be able to play with it so fingers crossed is an open world and fingers crossed we hear of that type of announcement at E3 or something. And last but not least, we have this screenshot, which doesn't really show us anything new, but it's extremely cool because it shows you a great look at a bunch of characters. We can see Batman, um, we can see Benny, Wildstyle, Legolas, Emmett, and even Marty McFly from Back to the Future, which we've seen several times now, and I don't care because I love Back to the Future, and the more Back to the Future I see, the better, because I can't wait for that pack. I think that's my most anticipated pack because you just get some really cool stuff. But everyone else, of course, I can't wait for as well. I mean... Um, there's a bunch of reveals coming for this game, I hope, you know, and we'll hopefully see some stuff at E3. Lots of great stuff to look forward to. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. I mean, LEGO Dimensions is really shaping up to be an extremely awesome game. I mean, what I think is cool about it is I don't even think they've told us anything yet. I think they've scratched the surface of what is in this game. I mean, I think we'll probably hear something from E3 that is going to blow our minds and we'll just be counting down the days until I think it's September the 27th for America and September the 29th in Europe I think that's right I could be wrong but definitely you know check on your local Amazon or in a local store or something because it's always best to check that because of course release dates can always be different depending on the country you live in all right guys so I want to thank you very much for watching stay tuned for lots more news on Lego Dimensions Lego Jurassic World and Lego Marvel's Avengers and as always please remember to like comment and subscribe